What is Tolkien? What does he mean to you? He means a lot to a lot of different people. To me, Tolkien is all about the courage of the average man, the camaraderie in the face of hopelessness, the surprising strength of the human spirit, especially when tested. But there's evil too. Tolkien is about the corrupting influence of greed and power. These are the essential themes that any spiritual successor to the Lord of the Rings must hit, to even feel like it is a Lord of the Rings story. Sometimes this show hits those keynotes, but most of the time it doesn't. In fact, it adds its own keynotes. The current Tolkien franchise is no stranger to progressive elements. Just take a look at the original adaption that started this all. Eowyn may have already been in the books, but her importance in the movie is emphasized for a point. She is a role model in every sense, but she is not invincible. She has fears as much as she has wishes. She is kind while also holding a fierceness in her. She is not arrogant or selfish in pursuit of her goal. She wants what she wants, but does not hurt others in pursuit of it. And. Isn't that admirable? I'm sure you know why I brought this up. There's a fundamental comparison between these two characters. One succeeds in every right, and the other fails spectacularly. The difference really is in the carefulness and care that was put into Eowyn. I doubt they even put half of that thought into Galadriel. The truth is, Amazon had a cash register and a time limit, and the clock was ticking. The changes in the rings of power are so great, and so grand, and in your face. They seek to improve upon Tolkien, as if to insinuate that his work was lackluster. That these writers, with no credits to their name, mind you, are better than Tolkien at his own game. There's a lack of respect here, an ad hoc feeling of stitching things together and calling it a piece of work, a masterpiece. I'm sorry, but someone has to say it. You are no visionary. You have no credits to your name. Writing a script that never came out doesn't count. You've shown very little skill through this show. You may have thought that you were one of the greats, but you've shown why you're not. You're no Stanley Kubrick. You are no Steven Spielberg, and most definitely, you are no Tolkien. You're just another person. Someone who has yet to prove themselves. Someone who is adapting a greater work made by a greater man. Someone more talented and experienced than yourself. Given the quality of this, you are quite a ways away from being anywhere near his level. If only you realize that while making this show. These showrunners think they can write a better story than Tolkien, and in writing that story they show exactly why they cannot and could not. It's not the fault of a lack of ability, or a lack of budget, or a lack of resources. It's in the lack of respect for the time, and experience, and care that's needed to flesh out a Tolkien story. A story beloved by so many fans across the world. All you aspiring Tolkien writers out there, how long do you think Tolkien took to write a story? If you cannot spend the same amount of time writing yours, then I'm sorry, you are not as great as he, nor do you necessarily need to be. But if you ever find yourself in the precarious situation in which you are to adapt one of his works to the big screen, then maybe you should at least try to spend a tenth of that time on your own adaption. Rings of Power is a disgrace to Tolkien's work, and is absolutely shameful. How can a show operating at less than half the budget of this be doing so much better? There's real messages and themes that are expressed in Tolkien. The themes are already there in the text, and yet you refuse to use them instead you introduce your own with hollowing half measures. You never fully commit to your ad hoc themes, not because you don't want to, but because the story is not designed to communicate these themes. They were injected in, causing this stitched together feeling an abomination to Tolkien's name. The story is not supposed to be about standing up for oneself, standing solely alone in the face of doubt. It's not about the toll of leadership, about young love, denial, arrogance. The story is none of these. This story is about trickery, the folly of greed, great empires falling due to their own flaws and arrogance. Not the arrogance of one person, yet we follow this arrogant little girl around like she's the most important person in the world. There was a great show you could have made here, but you didn't. You rejected that version of the show, bugger all that. Since cashing out is always more important than writing something that actually means something. In truth, there's more I want to say about this terrible, terrible show. But it doesn't really matter, does it? It's all salad dressing. Rings of Power is not Tolkien. And frankly, I can't stand it anymore. I'm done with this. I'm done with this show. I stopped watching four episodes in, but I should have stopped at one. I came into this show with hope. Maybe someone else can capture the magic that was the original trilogy. But the truth is, the only thing this show has left me with is longing and hate. And I'm stuck with this question. Will we ever see a Tolkien work reach this height again? Or are we forever stuck with these lesser alternatives?